now to first alert meteorologist Darren Peck. Did I, was I correct in saying that there may be a chance of rain in Southern California? Uh, well, there are thunderstorms not far from there. Uh, which could produce some brief downpours over the desert. What's going to happen in Southern California by about Tuesday is the same cool down we're going to get, they're going to get. And it will have a significant beneficial effect on the fires that are burning down there in Southern California. In the meantime, let's come closer to home because we have a little bit of an explanation that is necessary for anybody in these inland valleys. I'm going to show you the numbers in a second. You made it back up to 100 today in Livermore. What's going on here? Why are we not getting any help yet for the inland valleys? I'm going to show you, we really cool down if you're anywhere near the bay. The problem with what's going on right now is the onshore flow, fairly weak when you get inland, and the marine layer is very compressed, and it cannot get over these hills. You watch the clouds come on shore, and watch what happens to the wind streams here. We can walk that all the way down to the East Bay. That's not getting over. What, what marine layer there is in the morning is not getting into the Tri-Valley. So having said all that for the setup, let me just show you what you did today and then I'm gonna to get to the good news. There's a cool down, like a 20 degree cool down is coming over there. But if we first take a look at what we did for today's daytime highs, um, we'll remove the wind so we can read these numbers a little bit better. Look how comfortable it is out here, 61 for Half Moon Bay. Uh, we were in the mid 80s here along the peninsula and for Hayward and then you go over the hill and you jump up 15 degrees for Livermore. That was today. So what I want to show you is what happens as we look ahead to Tuesday. How much lower are these numbers going to be for each location by the time we get there? Livermore, you're going to be 18 degrees cooler on Tuesday. I think you're going to be about 9, maybe even 10 degrees cooler tomorrow, but more on that in the 7-day forecast. Tuesday is where we're going to bottom out. Meanwhile, Half Moon Bay, you're not changing at all tomorrow. You're not changing at all Tuesday. You may even warm up a degree or two. You won't notice. And along the peninsula, you won't notice much of a difference there either. So that significant cool down we were just talking about with Andrea is going to finally bring the numbers for our inland East Bay communities out of 100. Let's go back to the wide view. Let me just get you ready for your part of the bay for tomorrow. Here comes that marine layer again. So it builds back in tomorrow. It's still not necessarily cresting the hills just yet. Tuesday this system coming in from the Pacific Northwest, actually diving out from the Gulf of Alaska, is going to lift these clouds a little higher. So they will get over. And the marine air will also have a little more influence for those inland valleys, and, and it's gonna help out, and you'll get a bit of a break. Meantime, tomorrow the clouds will melt back. This is your Monday afternoon. And the marine layer will do pretty much just what it did today. So for tomorrow, the daytime highs, let's just look at starting your week for what your daytime highs are gonna look like and you can kind of see you're still hanging on in the low 90s for the inland valleys, but you're gonna be in the low 80s in San Jose and San Francisco is gonna be below average in the upper 60s. Let's go to the seven day forecast. So we'll start out with our inland valleys first. Inland East Bay, North Bay valleys, these numbers are yours. And oh, we're starting with the bay first. So the temperatures for the bay will wind up for the most part in the mid to upper 70s over the next several days. And that is a pretty nice stretch of average there for most of the seven day forecast. But look at the Tuesday drop. You're really gonna feel this more so by the time we get to Tuesday. And now we will take a look at the uh, seven day forecast for our inland microclimate where we really needed the most relief and we're gonna get that. You'll see it shows up once we get towards that 79. Look at the difference from Monday to Tuesday. You can warm up a bit by the weekend, but nothing crazy. All right.